Now we're going to talk about one of the most powerful features of Arduino. It's called libraries. And what libraries are a set of instructions or code within your sketch that allows you to do very complicated tasks with very little code. For example, I built this cheer light and inside of this cheer light is a feather huzzah made by Adafruit. It's an Arduino compatible board that has built-in Wi-Fi. Now, how do I get the Wi-Fi to connect to Twitter and all of that? It's very complicated, but with the use of libraries, I can just include the Wi-Fi library and a few other libraries, and it allows me to basically just punch in my username and password, and I'm connected to the internet. Makes it so easy. There's lots of different libraries out there. There's ones for using cellular networks and GPSs and motor controllers and servos and lots of other different, very complicated tasks that you don't need to know much about. You just include the library, read the documentation, a few lines of code, and you're ready to go. So where do you find libraries and how do you install them? Let's take a look. There's actually three different ways. The first way is once we fire up our Arduino software, you can go into Sketch, Include Library, and if we go to Manage Libraries, we can see all the different libraries that we can install, uninstall. Another way is to download the libraries. Typically, they're hosted on GitHub, and wherever you buy your shield or board is where you would find the link to download the library. Let's go run through one. I happen to know that Adafruit has quite a few libraries. Let's look at a GPS library. So I want to add GPS to my Arduino project. Here's the ultimate GPS breakout. And if I scroll down the description, sure enough, here's the link to the library. And right here, you would click clone or download. Download zip. I've already done this and I have my zip file right here. To add that to my Arduino software, I would go into Sketch, Include, Add Zip Library, navigate to where it is. Mine's on my desktop. I would click on this and click Choose. But that's as easy as it gets. There is another way of doing it. You can read more about it on the Arduino website, but you can go into your user folder and find your library and install it manually. To be quite honest with you, I've never had to do that. I always upload a zip or it's already included in the Arduino software. So libraries allow you to add really complicated things with very minimal code. And when you're thinking about your prototype, think about all the things that maybe you assumed an Arduino can't do, like have a display screen in color and show graphics or connect to a cellular network and send text messages. The Arduino by itself has a little board like this. No, it can't. But with a shield and the proper library, these things can do almost anything and it's very affordable and very easy to get up and running.